<laughs> yeah, it gets better every time. Yeah? Okay. Hour 19. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Come on, dude. I don't even think this is going to work. You can do it. Right. I'm at a mall circa 1984. Are you? Are you? No, 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 I don't know why you're saying that the quality is deteriorating here. Yeah. <laughs> those Nas, man, those are good. Yeah. How'd you spell them? <laughs> All right, so so this is hour 19 of Garbage Day, um, which you yeah, probably yeah. knew already. Uh, in the room right now, we have uh, myself, Jack Chick, uh, Bunny Bread, we yeah. have Zarla, <laughs> yeah. we have Mr. <laughs> J.W. Friedman, I'm back. we have Nutshell Gulag, and of Hello. course, Boots Rain Gear. Mm -hmm. uh on on the drawings we will have uh amelia blank so that's all super exciting and we're going to be reading out about mike tomich who appears to be an insane guy so oh jay yeah, can you well... tell us about our silent epidemic uh yeah why do children's fingers become permanently bent and twisted from video games computers and coloring why uh... do adults <laughs> develop chronic back shoulder neck pain Carpal tunnel, arthritic fingers, autism from stiff suspensions, shaking the embryo, and high effort steering systems causing fingers to curve and twist. What? Uh, the hammer? Ah, no. <laughs> Arthritis is from wear, tear, and age. In our research, prompted by why our children are developing arthritic fingers from video gaming, we mm. discovered the root cause of many forms of arthritis and why it becomes crippling, which is contained here in our site and our free download, Able, book, our silent <laughs> epidemic, module six. So many silent epidemics. Okay, I, uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, um, b b Boots, do you have any major news, I guess? Uh, yep, yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah, I do. Breaking. <laughs> major news september 2013 mercedes-benz announced the introduction of new electronic soft riding vehicles but hold on i need to press a button hi boots is cat uh no that's actually not my cat so i need to press nutshell i think i hear your cat calling you hi tommy Hi, buddy. You want to come here? Uh, the intro, the Mercedes Benz house, the introduction of an electronic. Uh, sorry, I'm turning into Frankie, uh, whatever. <laughs> Do it. Ready. He Weather alert. news. <laughs> <laughs> Weather alert from <laughs> Regina, Saskatchewan. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, new electronic soft riding vehicle suspension system that eliminates the present stiff shock loading ride. Soft suspensions will prevent damaging shock loads traveling through the human body, clashing our joints, and soft tissue, which will, which our research attributes to the cause of autism, degenerative disc disease, fibromyalgia, hip replacement surgeries, depression, mood swings, and many issues caused by shaking the human body over 7 million times in 9 months. Yellow text on white background. Yeah. This text, this text. Wow. Be this text is real. Oh, you can highlight it and then you can read it. Children's yeah, warning. Who would want to do that? Your children's <laughs> bones are too soft for some repetitive motion forces that cause bone stresses, which result in per-arthritic per, per curved fingers and twisted knuckles. Avoid video gaming equipment. Toys too heavy for effortless two-finger use. Avoid toys with button pushing slash slapping. Beware. Don't wait for the video gaming or computer industry or Crayola Crayon or any politician for, guided, for guidance because despite the fact that they all know about this, they will not come forward with this information. Even Bill Gates is hiding. Mike Tomek. <laughs> Damn. Damn. All right. Well, now that we've read some of this doc, uh, Nutshell, can you go to the section called Read Me First, please? Oh, good. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, it's called Read Me First, number two. Yeah. <laughs> read Me Second. <laughs> oh, should I click on Read Me First, number two, or should I just read the one that says Read Me First? Uh, they're actually the same yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Read me first. Note, our book, 
our silent epidemic is now available for free downloading. The video industry has prevented Congress from passing our Children's Health Study Bill, S948 CAMBA Act, for seven years now. GM, Toyota, Nissan, and other uh, MFGs Aware of, <laughs> of skeletal damaging dynamic forces. <laughs> Read our latest letter to Microsoft in the video industry requesting parental awareness of children's injuries and design of a safe game controller for children. Letter to Microsoft, November 23rd, 2007. Children and adults' health ailments. Our young children are developing and suffering from arthritic fingers, attention deficit disorders, lack of concentration, anxiety disorders, antidepressants are at record levels. Schools are experiencing a 100% increase in prescription eyeglasses, autism, bipolar, obesity, or epi epi <laughs> epidemic stages. Children are experiencing physical functioning lo functional losses and much more. Both young and older adults are suffering crippling arthritic fingers and joints, chronic muscle skeletal back pain and back, neck, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, numbness, tingling and in toes. fingers and face, <laughs> joint replacement surgeries, physical therapy, epidural injections, cortisone. Carpal mm. tunnel has surfaced as a major physical ailment blamed on typing. Record numbers of adults all ages are obese, suffering depression, labeled as bipolar, also have attention deficit, obese, major mood swings, sleeplessness, chronic fatigue, sleep, chronic pain, shoulder, shoulder chest pain, simulating a heart attack. The are root we sure cause clips of the for injuries. sale is over? <laughs> <laughs> the root cause of the injuries, a new chapter in science. A. Not until now and after eight years of research have we uncovered the monumental hidden scientific physical process that will equal and many cases surpass the greatest rewards of any discovery ever made thus far. The silent, numbing, deadly, and physical infliction of damaging dynamic force shock waves and vibrations has been hidden since the birth of human thinking. B. The major source of adults' damage is the automobile. The stiff, high-effort steering and stiff suspension, plus other elements, result in 360 to over 580-plus vibrations being transmitted through the human body per minute, 60 miles per hour. That is 360 to 580-plus mini shock loads being transmitted through the entire skeletal system from feet to fingertips. Injuries for the mini shock loads accumulates and appears within 6,000 miles of driving and bent and twisted fingers. A 30-mile trip can result in 17,400-plus shock loads. A 30-minute trip can result in 17,400-plus shock loads. Did you know one in eight children are also born prematurely? CBS News 4109 Katie Couric. C. <laughs> The just wanted to share that. Correct. I learned that today. Isn't that neat? Anyway, that's hey, what I was talking hey, about. That's hey, a great hey, reference. He cites his references. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. <laughs> See, autism, bipolar, depression, mood swings, lack of concentration, obesity, chronic fatigue. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Be transmitted through the womb of a pregnant mother, cause these problems for her unborn child. D, could these shock loads also cause the muscular skeletal injuries described above to adults? Yes. Yes. Oh, leave us in suspense, okay. E, <laughs> is the epidemic of carpal tunnel coming from typing? No. It's coming from the shock loads due to the repetitive motion back and forth, turning off the stiff steering vehicle during continuous course corrections. Right. F, <laughs> children suffer from shock loads when video gaming, computers, coloring, and heavy toys. No coloring until at least five years old. No video gaming or computers until at least eight years old. See note number one on the bottom of our homepage. Stop the mini shock loads from reaching your unborn child. Mothers-to-be, have the steering effort on your vehicle oh reduced God. so you can turn it effortlessly with one finger. That have the stiff really sports <laughs> truck this is never going to reduced end. to yeah. prevent road crack vibrations I... from reaching your baby. Have seat seating softens to further isolate driveline vibrations to your baby or and or unborn. All right. Uh, so that was... Wait, wait, wait. There's so many there's, more letters there's in the so alphabet. There's so much more. There's, there's... so much more. <laughs> wait, could you could you read the one for our research started? It's like a few seconds. <laughs> uh, 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 uh,
Uh, our research started after a child developed deformities while playing a Nintendo 64. Well, uh, okay. 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 Of engineers right. and physicians lead to the realization of the force generation and delivery process, which is responsible for musculoskeletal injuries from dynamic force shock loads. God damn it. The child turned Jackson into a kid. literal dinosaur hunter. Yeah. <laughs> They're doing that thing where they were rolling the control stick on their palm. Was oh, that it? Oh, yeah. It was, it was, oh, it was the, yeah. Uh, okay, so... Um, Another child suffers, suffers from Mario <laughs> Party <laughs> disease. <laughs> this kind of goes on for a while. Uh, oh, you, 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 oh you, does it? <laughs> I'm a crayon's I, warp Amish girl's hand. go on for a while. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, can we skip down to the note and the uh, just before the end of that giant wall of text, um, right above the footnotes? Footnotes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got to cite all those sources. Notes. He's got Not a to foot, hand, and elbow notes, motherfucker. <laughs> number five, footnote number five: the TV at the laundromat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's doing what? Uh, what? Zarla, can you read from the note there? Which note? Or yeah, above, from the, the note above the footnote? The human the body, human is, body not... is not designed. Oh, okay, okay. Note, the human body is not designed to deliver torsional forces. Our musculoskeletal system cannot physically generate and deliver the torsional forces required to overcome the resistance of a high-effort steering system without also delivering a damaging mini-shock load accumulative injury to our musculoskeletal system. Example. Author's personal experience with the Chevrolet Impala, high effort steering. To prevent... <laughs> I tried to turn left once, now I'm dead. <laughs> like there's resistance to my tires moving. To prevent many various musculoskeletal injuries, have your vehicle manufacturer provide a free steering adjustment to reduce steering effort to zero. Did you know that our Congress knows that our children's develop bent and twisted arthritic fingers and hand function losses from video gaming, computers, and coloring? coloring. Read children's breaking news. How does how does coloring do it? Color the is the other don't... silent epidemic. There's like 20 of them. It cry, it cramps don't vibrate. <laughs> Maybe yours don't. <laughs> the wrong kind of cramps. Uh, and Zarla, can you read through the footnotes, please? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, number one, NBC TV 25 news coverage video of children with crippled fingers from gaming. Blah, blah, link. Two, identification of dynamic forces. A link to dynamic forces. And we, no, sorry, it's on a different site. Three, some sources of destructive dynamic forces responsible for children's injuries. Four, picture 10-year-old child with video gaming deformities. Five, picture 4-year-old with computer deformities. Number six, picture 4-year-old child with coloring crayon deformities. Oh. Seven, injured children unable to perform work duties as adults. Uh, eight, picture of adult injuries from the high-effort steering Impala. Nine, <laughs> children and adults case studies on Flickr.com. <laughs> 10 famous people with deformed fingers from driving <laughs> uh, you won't it's, not no, it's not his own it's not his own site, yeah, it's on his own site but, yeah. no. uh, 11 pictures and additional information from the inside of our book uh, 12 letter to microsoft produce game control that will not deform or injure children's skeletal system 12, 13 letter to michigan legislators governor to ban video gaming in children's daycare facilities um, it's also worth noting that none of those footnotes uh, appear in the big giant block of crap we just read. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There weren't any notes for them. No, yeah, these, just... yeah, these are just bonus notes. Yeah. They're, 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 I just wanted to count up to 13. Yeah. Look, you're here with me. <laughs> they're ankle notes. <laughs> like David Foster Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, moving down, we're going to go to uh, some famous people pictures, um, but we're going to describe them. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, we, we should. Uh, hey, hey, Victor, does, uh, does all this sound medically sound to you? In my yes. medical opinion? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Even fake Victor doesn't. <laughs> Famous people with deformities is noted. Can you guess who they are? It's a fun sure game. Visit, be sure to visit the four links at the bottom of this page for additional pictures and case studies. Ooh. Prevent children's crippling figure deformity, deformities by not allowing your children to play video gaming or use computers until your physician says their bones are hard enough to withstand the damaging grasping forces incurred with each. Prevent toddlers from finger deformities. Please do not allow them to color or play with heavy toys. 
plus forward our website to your friends so they may see the children's finger deformities from video gaming, computers, and coloring during the ages when their bones are too soft to tolerate the damaging high forces. If you suffer from a painful shoulder, back, neck, hips, carpal tunnel, arthritis, or other physical pain, refer your physician to our website so he yeah. may discover the sources of the damaging dynamic forces. Well, I am a doctor, but let me look at this dipshit's website. And, oh, have you ever played video games? <laughs> Automotive this companies is... must eliminate steering wheel resistance and lower effort requirements. Video and computer manufacturers, coloring industry, and toy makers must add age restrictions to prevent small children's soft bones from bending due to dynamic forces. I remember that age as a kid when your bones were made of marshmallows? Yeah. So annoying. Good times. <laughs> I used to jump off the roof. <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah, I could fly, I thought. I was right. 40 times. Down. Uh, Jay, can you read for me uh, Crayons Warp Amish Girl's Hands? <laughs> I'm hanging out with that. Yeah, yeah, I can. Meet a four-year-old Amish child named Elizabeth. Amish children do not play video games or use computers. The lines running the length of her fingers should be straight. The line drawn on her small finger is curved in the oh. direction identified with the two small straight arrows. The curvature of her small finger is typical in video, coloring, and computer use. This bending of the small finger is smoother than the bending from video gaming, which is jagged. Her ring finger is bent towards the middle finger with the end of her finger being hooked towards the middle finger. This is typical with all video, computer, and coloring processes. I have seen some children with the ring finger bent completely over the middle finger. The it's middle true. finger is bent towards the index fingers. fingers. <laughs> Video game deformities cause the middle finger to bend towards the ring finger. The index is bent and twisted. This is due to the forces generated with her hand gripping and forces being generated in the coloring stroke process, which is identified in part three of our silent epidemic. <laughs> 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 deformities to the children's fingers come as a result of the shock load mini trauma generated in the repeating grasping efforts and the coloring strokes. Each time a child with soft, uncalcified bones grasps a crayon firmly and delivers a coloring stroke, a force is generated. And because of the soft bones, the force becomes a dynamic force and initiates a mini trauma shock load. The mini trauma results in accumulative damage. More children are coloring today at younger ages because of the popularity of the child daycare facilities where computers, video gaming, and coloring becomes items of interest. Children subjected to repetitive mini trauma shock loading vibrations will develop deformed, bent, and twisted fingers, restricting them to processes that are compatible to the calcified strength of their skeletal system is the only way to stop the damaging forces that cause and will cause restrictions in their proper physical functionality of their hands and prevent the eventual early life loss of thumb use. If your children's <laughs> fingers resemble any of the pictures on the site or the many in my book, Please contact your governor, senator, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Mm, yeah. Done and done. I went and looked at the picture of the hand. It's a totally normal hand. Yeah, sure mm -hmm. is. Well, that's what you, that, you know, that's yeah, what you've been conditioned through years yeah. of, you know, video game coloring. That's true. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> you love this only, crayons. Only playing what, what, <laughs> paint with Mario or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. All right. So party. Mario so we have a good grasp of what this guy's uh, uh, mission in life is. So, um, you know, let's see what he's doing about it. Bunny Bread, could you read me a letter, please? You're goddamn right. I'm going to read you a letter. Hello, I'm Mike Tomich, and this is June 1st, 2002. Take yourselves back. This is addressed to Mr. Bill Gates of the Microsoft Corporation at 1 Microsoft Way, Microsoft Washington, Microsoft Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> regarding Nintendo, Sony, and possible Xbox game controllers. I, Nintendo and Sony are also owned by Bill Gates. I, Dear I, Mr. Gates, the Sony and Nintendo game controllers I, have a major design flaw. I, Our children's fingers are becoming bent, twisted, and deformed from grasping and holding the handles of the game controllers. Did you know these children put them in their hands? Did you know this? <laughs> Looking at you, Nintendo 64. That's right. <laughs> Their fingers conform perfectly to the contours of the handles. This is a problem because they 
Yes, <laughs> along with the firm grip they use, the Nintendo controller vibrates, sending shocking loads to the finger joints, which are already under stress from grasping the handles. Does this guy? I, which, oh God! I just like the, the idea <laughs> of hold, uh, yeah, just holding yeah. a thing <laughs> is going to ruin your hands. <laughs> exactly. These babies always grabbing stuff. They're gonna ruin their you know hands. What hands are used for not holding stuff. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Ideally, that all of your just... fingers would be the same length, so it would be really hard to hold things. Yeah. <laughs> this guy got flippers. This damage is irreversible. Absolutely irreversible. And only worsens with use once the twisting has happened. Their quality of life will be adversely affected. I spoke with Sakal in your technical support this morning, and he said he was going to send an email about this subject to his supervisors. While well, making a jerk off like, motion, no doubt. <laughs> like I could hear him rolling his eyes. Therefore, this was happening. The point of this, Sakal isn't a person, it's just the sound that the guy from Bad Religion makes all the time. <laughs> that was a joke for nobody. <laughs> okay. I got it. <laughs> Attached is information relative to my communications with Sony and Nintendo. Please contact me ASAP. This is of the utmost urgency. <laughs> Yours truly, Mike Tomich of the Weak Hand Brigade. Thank you and good night. How did he type this with his gnarled fingers? I slapped my face against the goddamn keyboard. <laughs> he uses toes. Toes are worthless. Yeah, Nobody toes are stupid. Toes. He, he, he punches a stylus between his teeth and just <laughs> it out one at a time. <laughs> of course, that means he's got pretzel teeth now, but, you know. <laughs> you don't need those either. <laughs> Better to Bill Gates number two on October 29th, 2002. From Mike Tomich, also to Mr. Bill Gates and from the Microsoft Corporation at One Microsoft Way in Redmond, Washington. Regarding the ergonomics of game controllers handles is bad, crippling with children's fingers. Dear Mr. Gates, further to my letters to you of June 1st and June 27th about the above topic, I haven't heard from your office. Apparently, your people are unaware of how to identify the problem with the bending and twisting of the children's fingers. <laughs> this is why Microsoft was formed, is it not? To solve the problem of children's fingers. <laughs> they sent you so many documents. The problem with your games is the game controllers are made of hard plastic, and when the children grasp it, the pressure of their grip forces their fingers to twist and bend to conform to the contour of the handle. The contour of the game controller does not match the natural design of the human fingers or joints. The game controllers do not allow center pressure to the fingers, thus while the children are holding the handles, their fingers bend and twist. This puts diagonal pressure on the finger joints, which results in bone joint damage. The joints in the fingers deform to adjust to the controller handles. This is permanent damage, and it is accumulative. Once it happens, it doesn't go back. <laughs> Nintendo and Sony have the problem, and your design is the same as theirs. Your controllers are bad also. Please review the photos I've posted at this website. Photos, yahoo.com, Mike Tomage. The pictures at this site represent the full spectrum of the damage from the controllers over the ages indicated. Your game controllers are not the only cause. Oh. When you view the pictures, look closely at the 11-year-old young lady, Whitney. Along with playing Nintendo and Sony, Whitney played the portable calculator size handheld <laughs> electronic games. <laughs> what? what? Like game Boy? No. What, a, a she DS? She played on a calculator? That's, she put boobs uh, upside down. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> you can see this by the deformity in the tips of her fingers being bent. Had her mother or other children I've seen like this know this would happen, I'm sure they wouldn't have played it. Children are really good at foresight. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> none of us... <laughs> Can you tell a kid it's dangerous to do and they just never do it, ever? Yeah, Nor would they have stuck those crayons up their noses. <laughs> <laughs> well, crayons for eating, not for drawing. Because none of these games or controllers are ergonomically designed. They all provide uneven twisting pressure to the finger joints and the finger's effort to center itself to the pressure necessary to hold and play the games. There's no excuse for this issue. The ISO 9000 series for quality standards provides tools for studying designs FEMAs of products. I'm sure you didn't purposely design these controllers to cause the bending of the children's fingers like this. The longer you wait, obviously the more children will become crippled. I plead with you to do a redesign, like I've mentioned with the gel inserts. <laughs> Get... 
No, so he, Bill Gates, Bill Gates <laughs> traveled Insurance? back in time. You gelling, Bill? He, uh, gelling? he snuck into the Nintendo and Sony offices and secretly right. designed their controllers to destroy children's hands. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm telling you, my Jello controllers. <laughs> Get notice to your customers. Immediately make the public aware of the defective controllers and availability of redesigned replacements. This is real, not a hoax. An accident. <laughs> That's how you can take it seriously. That's right. Yeah. That's the most I am not part. crazy. I asked that your engineers contact me so I could discuss this with them in detail. I offered to meet with anyone at your company anywhere in an effort to help oh. resolve this. Nothing happened. Now I ask, how many more have been sold since I reported this design error to you in June? This twisting and bending will only cripple them and get worse as they get older. Please contact me if there are any questions. I would appreciate no discussing question. this with your design engineers or anyone you wish. Please let me know what your short and long-term corrective action will be to resolve the problem and keep similar from happening again. Yours truly, Mike Tomich, CC, Michigan Attorney General's Office, and State of Washington Attorney General's Office. I, none dare call it a conspiracy. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, cause, since we haven't done one of these in a little while, let's do a, a donation incentive. Bunny bread. Yeah. What's, oh, uh, hi. What do you have for offer on uh, to us? For I talk words. Okay, I'm just just saying. That, okay, <laughs> so you've given an, you've given this following thing an estimated value of fifty thousand dollars, roughly. I roughly. feel I feel like we may have to lowball that a bit. <laughs> oh, okay. So forty nine thousand. Forty nine. Okay. Forty nine and a half thousand. Okay. Well, all right. So if you give around fifty thousand, I will. Say whatever the fuck you want for about a minute. <laughs> That's quite a deal. That could be any sort of commercial parody, any sort of thing whatsoever. Uh, I have been used many, 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 many times for people's uh, voicemails. So you can do that if you really, really want to. Or you can just use me to get an erection. Whatever the hell you <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say $45. Forty-five, maybe forty-two. Yeah. Okay, forty-two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's active. So. And normally, to get by better to read your words, you'd have to make a crazy website. So if you donate forty-two dollars, if you're the first person to donate forty-two dollars or more, you uh, get that big uh, awkward description. Yeah, <laughs> I words. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is terror from the years of piano lessons. <laughs> I remember that Goosebumps book. <laughs> Finger injuries from piano keyboards. History, 19-year-old teenager from China. She has never driven a vehicle or played video gaming. She t started taking piano lessons when she was eight years old. They haven't even talked about the coloring. Her injuries are due to dynamic forces received when pressing banging on the keyboard keys because the forces generated in this process exceed the material creep force tolerance. Th Sorry. <laughs> Just do exceed it all in one breath. Ma material creep force tolerance threshold value of her soft bone mass mm. strengths present during her young age. <laughs> her bones are not as hard as adults due to lack of calcification strengths found in mature bone mass strength. Strength. <laughs> Though injuries appear to display similarities throughout our website, to the trained eye, each injury has its own character. <laughs> Just a look really, eye. really hard. Are it's you, a magic are taking, eye. Are you taking issue with the trained eye, Jay? <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining him pouring over photos of children's hands and thinking he's <laughs> learning something. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you think you can do better, maybe you can prove to us about uh, how driving causes autism. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You had to give me that. All right. <laughs> okay. Autism. We found a common link. It is physically induced, not caused by chemicals. That's not correct. <laughs> Below is the letter I mailed to all researchers. All of them. Outreaches, <laughs> <laughs> researchers. Plus, interviewed in the NGN PBS presentation, New Jersey Public Television, by Sarah L. Kessler, titled Decoding Autism, shown by PBS in Bad Axe, Missouri, in September. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that, is that a real town? I want to live in Bad Axe, there. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> this very informative 60 minute program details the focus on researching the causes of autism link. You'll see the 20 year plus study has been focused on trying to connect with a chemical issue. Our research combining the principles of human physical capabilities of mass live tissue and medical has concluded the research for the root cause of auto autism also needs to include multiple physical shock loading forces such as those found in stiff suspension vehicles and then very small Mike Tomich yahoo.com. Yep. <laughs> so, um, so the next about 10 pages in document, uh, get a little crazy. <laughs> oh, her, do they? Her bad photocopies. They got a touch of the oh, crazy. Wow, yeah. yeah. So it's a bunch of bad photocopies. So uh, I'm going to do this as just a read until you, you want to stop reading and, you know, tag somebody else and we'll go through this until we get bored. Um, <laughs> That's plan. So Boots, you want to start us off? Uh, oh, just from the... From the beginning of cause of autism, were we? I would probably start at dear researchers. Yeah, okay. But... Well, okay. This is a letter uh, to doctors and researchers for the cause of autism, decoding autism. Mm -hmm. Dear researchers, thank you for your informative presentation about autism and its horribly sad impact on our children. While you have been studying the chemical causes of autism, we have been studying the injuries to the human body as a result of many trauma physical forces incurred with different processes and product designs, which we have found results in permanent skeletal and soft tissue injuries. In addition, we believe these multiple mini trauma forces may be the clue to some cause of autism, which we want to bring to your attention for further research. Our privately funded research team is composed of myself, a 67-year-old retired quality engineer from Fanuc Robotics in Auburn Hills, Michigan, my forte mechanical failure analysis, gearing failures, shock loads, fatigue, vibrations, peening, microstructures, etc., which resulted in my two names of uh, professor of surgery. Our Psych team was formed after <laughs> Saginaw, Michigan. Our team was formed after I witnessed the straight fingers of my four-year-old grandson develop curvatures and twisted knuckles deformities, which I traced to the presence of shock loading forces from the children's repetitive white knuckle gripping of the controller of the multiple shock loads generated by the dual internal pulsating vibrating source. Why is four-year-old playing on the Nintendo C4? Like, the control is just too big for oh, sorry, a four-year-old. Nutshell. <laughs> nutshell. <laughs> Uh, such departures from normalcy as expected with, my, sorry, as experienced with my grandson resulted in partial hand function loss with difficulty handling small objects. With my forte being mechanical failure analysis, for the first time in history, I recognized the presence of a material creep force tolerance threshold, MCFTTV, in all matter composing our human body. Our continued studies indicate material creep force tolerance threshold value is a totally new scientific approach to our body and over my past two years my work indicates mcfttv is applicable to the brain of the unborn child through repetitive shock loads and vibrations stretching or severing the developing nerves as described in my attachment i would appreciate the opportunity to join your research and share our information please feel free to contact me at any time with your questions or comments yours truly mike tomish then there is an incredibly long list of yeah. doctors and researchers in decoding autism. Uh, and then it goes down to, our research indicates that some causes of autism may be physically induced. Uh, Who's Kay the Grank, other person? <laughs> like, he always Kay, says our, but... Yeah, it says K. Grank, M.D., A. Sauer, M.D., R. Tomich, civil engineer, K. Raval, M.D., M. Tomich, Mech Mechanical Failure, Gage, Gagetown, Missouri. Uh, no, that's not Missouri. It's uh, Maryland. Mm. Uh, isn't it? ML's Maryland? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, 48735 USA, com. Mike Tomich at yahoo.com. A common denominator has been found. My main reason for this letter is to make you aware that our own private research through the engineering dis disciplines, material creep involving force tolerance, threshold values, and dynamic forces has led us to the strong possibility that a major cause of autism may be a physically induced defect combined with your chemical causes. My interviews with parents of autistic children identifies one basic common denominator, and that being thousands of repetitive physical mini trauma shock loads being transmitted through the uterus during the, the life of their pregnancy. I almost got it in one breath. Uh, <laughs> Good try. Good try. Damaging shock loads are experienced with driving or riding in today's vehicles, which are designed with stiff suspensions and high effort resistance steering systems. Zarla. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 
Vehicle suspension and steering design changes over the past 24 years. Many vehicle suspension designs have been changed from soft, like oh, a oh. boat floating in calm waters, to stiff race car suspensions, feeling every irregularity in the road because of the firm hard seating, steel belted tires, and stiff struts. These new vehicles fail to isolate the passengers from the shock loads transmitted through the human body and the unborn in the uterus. We have commonly measured a whole bunch of shock loading vibrations past the two passengers in a 20 minute trip. Steering in the 60s, 70s, and mid 80s was effortless, using just the small finger of one hand. Wait, steering oh, before shit. power steering was <laughs> yeah. effortless. Steering yeah. in the 60s, 70s, and 80s was effortless. Remember how you used to steer you with your mind? Do you remember that? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. I've forgotten about that part. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you weren't alive during the 70s. Well, neither was I, but you know. <laughs> Today, steering systems have been designed with stiff steering, requiring the driver to generate and deliver over 44-inch pounds of torsional forces between, within two-tenths two of a second. However, to deliver this required force, the body must move the upper torso above the seatbelt into the direction of the force being delivered. This equates to over 100 pounds of a mini-jerking shock load through the upper body and finalizing at the fingertips. Okay. So... How do they picture you turning your car? <laughs> no, no. Power like they... steering was, it really means you have to be more powerful to steer. They oh, make these more difficult yeah, yeah. in order to improve <laughs> upper body strength. Great. I see. I got yeah. you. Thank you, America. No, this I is don't. my favorite tough man competition event. <laughs> steering. Turn in at a left hand. Turn. If you turn right in your car, you got to really get your car waist. is actually a strong man competition. It really is. You have no always, idea. I always bet on the Polish guy named Magnus. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Jay wants to skip down to conception, ah, conception problems. Yeah. Hmm. Conception? I know a young couple in their 20s with excellent health that has been trying to conceive for over two years. She drives a Pontiac Grand Prix. Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> 90 miles round trip from home to work every day. When she gets out of her vehicle, she aches all over. She visits a chiropractor to help relieve the pains in her back, neck, shoulder, etc. Insert, uh, is that Trina? I don't know. She and the chiropractor are fucking, by the way. <laughs> Here's what the Grand Prix is a rough riding vehicle, which is known as shut them down Stop. and have Stop. such attention. No, 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 DMX well known yeah. for his love of pro. Oh, no. <laughs> Could this vehicle and driving be the cause of her inability to become pregnant? Maybe the shock loads are causing a miscarriage during her normal monthly menstrual. What, Maybe. Sure. What? That's, that's the yeah. most logical. That's, yeah, right. Yep. That's, that's how, how lady parts work. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Premature births, some facts based on low material creep factors. <laughs> Unlike the stock, <laughs> premature <laughs> births can really be triggered under the mini trauma shock load injuries. Uh, and here's a bunch of statistics, and I'm tapping out. Who's next? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Bunny, you want to go? You want to take it? About premature births? Oh my god, I've never felt sexier. Okay. So, per the March of Dimes, one in eight children are born prematurely. Okay? Okay, we're not in reading the this. Not no, reading. I'm totally done with this. Right. Listen, Tell me about we're... stiff suspensions. Come on. Okay. We to, uh, let's we, talk about birth control, we gotta, shall we? We got to find something else. <laughs> birth control? No, I'll keep, I'll keep zooming down. More about shock loads all over your face. No, I got, I got an idea. Immediate corrective action. One, two, three. Uh, the thing curve. on the back door. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna. We're gonna. Pay no attention. We're going. What do you got? What do you got? We're going to this dock, and we're going to the bottom to where we left off last hour. Oh God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you thought we escaped this for some Oh God. Yeah, yeah. All right. That, that, that last dock made me feel bad all yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one did. Um, <laughs> this one though. Where did we stop? We stopped. Uh, up, we stopped up blowing my nose, right? It was clown. I thought we were doing cl clown ones last. Well, I we were, think, we were, I think we're, it was we're, epic farting in Moto G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, bunny bread. <laughs> start, oh, yes. Start with cloned loser. <laughs> cloned loser. Mind fuck. A swirly a day keeps the boys away. Classy grass, cutting in painty hose and heels. Masturbating, then crushing my teddy bear. <laughs> These two things are unrelated. 
Insane <laughs> insertions. Wet pussy chokes a rubber chicken. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. <laughs> Bathtub wrestling banana bitches. <laughs> Actress voluntarily sinks in quicksand. <laughs> oh, that's hot. <laughs> Girl fights with a fat guy. <laughs> you know it. You love it. Girl <laughs> takes on her nemesis, fat guy. <laughs> wait, wait. Isn't that the same fat guy with the uh, the El Paso vendetta? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, obviously. Yes, there's only the one fat guy in America. Okay. Yeah, a the bowl one with the tiny jacket. What? <laughs> a bowl crying confession in the mirror. What I feel in my heart right now and what I would tell him. What the fuck? Oh, so many tears, pain, and blowing my nose. I'm going to see that scene from the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am so horny right now. <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> Sports. Dot WMB. Oh, <laughs> Bathtub girl talks about Holocaust and midgets, TV and tablet compatible. <laughs> and your tablet in the bathtub. Suck my dirty white racist toes, part one. Part one. <laughs> Real plot twist in part two, you don't know. <laughs> Go racist fuck yourself, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the place for that. <laughs> Where's me frog? <laughs> Where's your frog? Is he in your pussy? <laughs> Fancy lady got some gas. <laughs> oh god, that hurts my balls. Part two. And other scenes from Idiocracy. <laughs> she is a veiny meat bag. <laughs> Attack of the space vampire. Electric tickling. Quick time. High resolution. Babe with paralyzed legs in a wheelchair and diaper takes it all off to show you how she gets off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. World star pie in face wet and messy house party fight BBW Dom slap star drips and spitting white slave on a leash complete version section one plus two. World star. <laughs> Many watches and sexy hens, WMV. Still Camilla world slipping... star. <laughs> Camilla slipping on bananas. Eight scenes. <laughs> Twelve different angles. Behind the scenes with Camilla's eight scenes banana slipping video. <laughs> oh man, I'm just not looking for I think I can know. I want to see the making of Camilla slipping on bananas. <laughs> Being around the world, goal with my hairy pussy, stop number 216. <laughs> Being outside in a tiny parking lot right next to the toll road, I just got off. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> People want to know what they're getting. Very specific and exactly my fetish. <laughs> yeah, I love 216. Ugly hetero humiliation. <laughs> Where are you going to find an ugly hetero? You're not, you're not vanilla. You're a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I get those flavors mixed up all the time. Yeah, I know. Shocking <laughs> twist. Two sexy ladies masturbate with rich wristwatch. W. <laughs> Fifteen weeks pregnant. Batter up. Fucking baseball bat. <laughs> oh. Don't get that baseball bat pregnant. <laughs> Everyone was looking at her and was in wow with her cigar skills. That's with a Z now. Yeah. World of Warcraft? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay, do you want to hop in? I don't uh, think sure. You yet. Definitely not. Uh, shiny mermaid ass tease, Android. <laughs> Your... Wait, what if, Your I got, if I got an iPhone? Can I watch it on my iPhone? <laughs> Nope. No, you stupid asshole. <laughs> your fetish is lame. <gasps> yeah, fuck your fetish. Oops, I gave you clown media, MP. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a death sentence. You can't get rid of that. Your path of doom to the fat hog milking facility, MP3. Uh. Gamer girl sword fights gamer girl in the Atari style. Like blocky and shit? <laughs> like little pixels. 
Yeah. Fuck Devastation, Chapter Two. <laughs> Florida's legal weed. Yes, I jerk off to legal proceedings. <laughs> Rush hour traffic in canine platform sandals. Feminist makes you suck yourself off. She didn't make me suck myself <laughs> off. I wanted to. She made Trump, you want to. Oh, Trump you're right. girl Facebook live fiasco section three end of cat fight. Trump hat. <laughs> Burning violent hit to face with smash guitar section three only HD 720p MP4. Riding a dildo on my coffin. Right. <laughs> Top of the world, ma. <laughs> Cha Chaos Girls, MP4. Wussies don't get pussies. 720p. <laughs> what I tell my children. <laughs> Hottie surprised to find she is double amputee with paralyzed legs, but still sucks and fucks for fun. Oh, Kiki well, Jade's that's... toilet fart theater. <laughs> 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 Masterpiece Theater was taken. <laughs> it starts out with a silhouette of Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki Brooks and Daddy has a limp fetish. HD 1080. Wait, the fetish itself is limp? I, I, I can't figure out. I can't parse it. I think limp biscuit fetish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did it all for the fetish. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's really into hot dog flavored water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chocolate flavored starfish and all shit. Space porn. Oh, oh ooh, this one's good. Space Which porn. Which comes first, the chicken, frog, horse, turtle, or the Red Bull? Part one. Place your bets. Uh oh. I love suplexing black woman. <laughs> Latasha versus Leah Morrison. And last but not least, Hulk Hogan gets blown. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Which, as I... we know, his wrestling fans happened about halfway through every single one of his matches. Am I right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I, gotta... I, I definitely get that. Yes. Those, those words. I'm yes. going to wrap these up here. Uh, Gene's face farts on a communist. <laughs> Stop smoking. Become a gay bottom slut. Yeah, those things are mutually <laughs> yeah. exclusive. <laughs> yep. Can't be both. Well, you have to do something with your mouth. I mean, <laughs> food for my ass featuring Astro Domina. <laughs> HDMP4. Bondage Dildo Fucking Part 3. Shibari Jail Cell Cyberpunk Fem Done Humiliation Ninja Threesome. <laughs> yeah, what up, ninjas? <laughs> my personal frog. High quality version. Oh, good, good. Finally, uh... I was looking for that. Limp body searching and stripping. Three scene, thief and policeman, spy and spy, pirate and pirate, me. I did it all for the pirates. <laughs> Smell of dirty crack, excellent. MP4. <laughs> Has anyone ever encountered clean crack? <laughs> Pay up, denim dummy. Whoa. Oh, uh, hmm. Punked by Kim Carfeetian, smelly feet. Part one. That's a reach. Great. You think that's a reach? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Some you know, some people might think it's clever. No, I think it's pretty funny. I'm yeah. gonna use that for my Mega yeah. Man parodies. Cause... That's gonna work out real well. <laughs> yeah. It's a pun. <laughs> Carfeetian. Hot cough milk. Milf, milk. sorry. Oh, hot no, cough, no, no. Hot cough milf. Hard cough hard, milk. Sorry, shit. Hard cough milf. I don't know hey, how I got that wrong. A penny hard cough, milf. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> More naked video game emotes. Eh. Okay. Bad girl versus fat man. Fat man is getting a lot of play. Yeah, true. People want to take him down. Yeah. I mean, he's so sexy. Man. Uh, strip pirate penguins with indigo, blossom, and jelly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Video game burper. Drunk pirate. <laughs> oh, wow. Drunk Do pirate you... toilet treasure. 
in reference to the previous one, do you like put the video game over your shoulder and then pat it for a while? No, or is let's, it... let's, let's just click on this uh, link and find out. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. <laughs> Clicking on links. Here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I'm going to close that. It's okay. Hey, that's Boots, how yeah, that work out for, for you? Now. <laughs> oh, Boots. Uh, the FBI can find you in Canada, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Southern bitch ass eating instruction. <laughs> uh, hey, I got this Southern bitch ass, right? <laughs> but I really don't know how to eat. Uh, BBW Alexa reads the foot book. <laughs> Satan's daughter wants you dickless. <laughs> <laughs> Better do what she says. Yeah, God. Uh, this, this is, this is like, this should be the title of every clips for sale video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid morons getting ripped off. Part two. Part two. <laughs> yes. Uh, and finally, <laughs> finally, no happy ending. Oh damn it. <laughs> I was so close to coming till you told me that. Uh, <laughs> so, so what did we learn from from this? I, I, from the first one, I learned that material creep force tolerance is a cool name. <laughs> yeah, it's, that is pretty good. That's a, that's... I learned that if you're if you're really good at robots, you want to see everything as a robot, mm -hmm. including other I people. Learned, I learned that there's a city in Michigan named Bad Axe, and I'm yeah. going to move there at some point. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm Googling pretty hard to figure out if Kim Karfichian is related to Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Can't be a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're both named Kim. A good too good to be true. <laughs> uh, I'm 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 surprised to find that nobody's taking Bunny Bread up on his uh, on his sexy voice offer. Yeah. yeah oh well, guys. I feel bad now. Yeah, I feel bad too. Forty forty two dollars. Come on. Uh, is everybody dead? I think everybody's no. dead. I think I, I, I think I think they're all they're all, uh, they're all measuring their fingers to see how curved they are. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? I, I just it's hard because you never know how to hold the ruler, really. I found things to do in Bad Axe, Michigan, on Facebook, and uh, uh, very soon there is a stronger men's conference viewpoint. Uh, it's happening right after the salon open house and mom to mom spring sale. <laughs> yeah, what do you think I'm doing after this? Awesome. <laughs> the mom to mom spring sale, I assume. Yeah, well, yeah. Moms is strong. <laughs> well, I'm going to go hit up some chicks, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, and we're going to be back in uh, like another eight minutes with Personality Cafe, Amelia ba blah, 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 blah. Amelia Blank will still be uh, doing our art. Uh, Montreth will be joining us. Stog will be joining us. Um, and any of the rest of you, if you want to stick around for longer, you can. Woo! Oh, God. Go, can we I'm talk about dick skateboarding before we go? Two hours uh, of wait, sleep before I wait, shift again. What's <laughs> dick skateboarding? <laughs> you know what dick skateboarding is. He's riding those dick waves. Okay. Kill the red. <laughs> All right, I'm going on break. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>